Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to fix this particular issue when you're working with Postgre, right? So by default, if you go with PSQL-U Postgres, it's going to give you this particular error. So why is it giving you this error? So let's read the error. So this error says that connection to server on socket, this, right, failed with pure authentication failed for user Postgre. So it's giving you these errors and the errors explain a lot. So let's see how to fix it. If you do this sudo right, dash u post postgres right psql you have access to it. It's going to ask for your user your normal password right and you have access to it right. So why does this move on but this one fails? So the reason is that by default when you install postgres on your system, it automatically creates a user right for you right called postgres. And that is a super user that can have access to it. So if you are going sudo dash u, you are switching to this Postgres, right? So this thing is switching to you. So if I, for my system, if I go with who am I here, this jcaris, if you install Postgres, it's going to create one like that for you, right? Which you can have access to it to switch. Perfect. And this is what you have. So to fix this, you have to go back to understanding what this error is coming from. So this error is coming from this option. So by default, if you want to access any database or any Postgres service, if you issue a command, it goes to the Postgres service, then Postgres is going to check the host based authentication file for these five things. For the type, it can be local, it can be host. Local means within, and host means within or remote. Then database, the particular database, the user, the method, and the address. The method can be trust, password, peer, identity right it can be several of them so if you go back to our error message you can see all these five messages. so connection on set to server on socket so this is the address it was trying to connect to fatal peer authentication that is the particular method for the user right the user right so all these methods can be found there so to face this error you have to go back and check and make sure that you face it from that file right so to find that host based authentication file you just have to go back with this so you can just go with show hba file right so hba stands for host based authentication it will tell you the location of it right which is this place you can also use lo locate right in case you don't have you can just go with sudo apt install locate then just install pg h hba .conf. if you search for this it's going to tell you the location of it right Perfect. So let's go back and stop this clip from here. Let's get our error still there. Right. And now let's see how to face that particular one. Right. So we saw that when we did this, it works. Right. So let's see how to face this and this by changing this particular file. So I'll go back here. Let's go with nano. Right. Remember that we have that particular error that we had here. We had this. Show hba file right we had this one here so we copy this I'm going to copy this one i'm going to modify that so, nano. so we can just go with sudo nano and now when you come back here that is where all the various five methods i said are like the five things you have to check so the database is there the user is there the address is there right and then we also have the methods. So the methods is very important. So that is where I'm going to check because the error is not just talking about the connection. So you see peer authentication field for user, right? So you have to check for the method. So as you can see, there's also peer here. So trust means I trust you, you can go. Reject means the way, reject. MD5, password, scrum, shall 256, or our password, but based on different algorithm, MD, MD5 algorithm. We have the password plain test and then SHA256. There's also LDAP and radios based on your configuration. Okay, so let's go down and check how to fix this error. If I go down here, we have this here. This this is where we are supposed to fix. So the first one is database and creative login by Unis domain. So, okay, so this one here, when we did this, progress this, this refers to this option here. So it gives you the option of doing that, right? So trying to do this. Yeah, you're also trying to do this, but it's it's having peer authentication. But for this particular one, you can have access to it. So you have to face this one, change us from peer to trust. And if you come back, you have local. So this local stands for local host, right? So this one, 
this one here is a localhost as you can see localhost points you have to change it from the password right to the other one so let's first fix this error one first so i'll just go back here and change this there so i'm changing the postgres peer from peer to trust so trust means that don't ask for me don't ask for password just trust me and then i'm going to change this one to trust so i've changed the administrative login to trust that means i can have access to it i've changed the one for local right to also trust that means that i can move on so remember that you have unit domain socket there was also socket here right as you could see something similar to give you the understanding and the error was peer and what you change was peer right perfect so now we are not going to fail this error so let's save it we are not going to change this one we will change later i'll save it here to and then yes to save then save it perfect now after saving you just have to restart it so sudo system or you can just go service yeah service postgres pl start or restart then it's going to restart your postgres instance perfect now let's get out of here and then let's check it again so this was the first command and if i go back it's like i have access to it perfect so that is how to fix so the solution to fix this one is that you have to just go back to your hba file and then configure the method to trust right so if you change your method to trust you can have access to it straight away perfect i can see that you have access if i check for the list of database here so here you see that you have my postgres this is the main one right don't change this this is always important right except if you are new production and you want to change it right to be more secure perfect and if i check for the connection now control c because now you are now connected to database postgres as user postgres right perfect let's quit from here so if i go back with this we have access to it now what about if i do this dash h for host and i go with local host it's going to ask me for my password but i don't want to ask for the password so i don't need the password i'm going to enter the password and it's failing right connection field because now we are trying to say that, okay login but listen on this particular local host remember that the previous one we had the error was this socket on this particular socket right so it failed now we have worked on that we have faced it it's no more pure authentication just trust based authentication but now it is listening on this particular host local host 127.0.0.1 right it's going to fill set password authentication field for user postgres right. so how do you fix it go back again to the file and then now we're going to change it from here i'm going to go back here so the first one we changed was the administrative we sent it to trust the unis is trust but now the local host 127.0.0.0 this particular one is filling and the, the error is password authentication this is password based authentication that is why it's filling if i don't know or if i've not set the password it's going to fail so in case you want to move on you can create a password right or you can just go back again and then you can change this one to trust right change this one to trust right if you change this one to trust it's not going to ask you for your password so let's save then this and restart again and now let's see if i go back again around this same command we have access to it right perfect and still notice we have gotten access to it right so that is how to fix this particular error. So in case you have the first error, you just have to go back to your HBA file and then configure this particular type, right? You can also work on the password. So you can also set up a password for a particular user. So for example, if I go back here and I create a new account, right? So let's get out from here. Let's check the connection now, see? So we are now connected to database Postgres. I want to create a user. If I create a new user, so let's say create user let's give it a let's say any name so jesse right then you can just give it with login password you can just give the password particular password to it and then you give the particular encryption now you can when you are going inside you can log in with that particular user and then pay the, pay the password 
or the particular authentication that you specify, you have to specify the password. So that is how to fix this particular error. We will not be going through that, but as you have seen, you have seen how to fix this particular error, right? So all of them depends on the particular. So all of them depend on a particular configuration in the host based authentication file. Perfect. So let's go back again and then try one more thing. So let's get out of here. I'm not going to quit either now. Let's quit. And let's try another way. So another alternative you can also log in. You can just go with this option here, which is PSQL. Then with the URI, so post Postgres, right? That's the first one. And then it goes with Postgres. Then it goes with the connection. That is the particular user, Postgres, right? And then it goes with the next one. It's going to be the password. Since we have no password, you can just give it at local host. And then just specify the other one. Specify the port 5432. And then you can also specify the database Postgres. Right. So this one here is the user. And then you pass the password. But this time I know using the password. And then this is the address and the port in the database. If I go with this option, I have access to it. So this that we did is the same as this one. So let's quit from here. See that there's the same connection. Let's quit from there. My mouse. <laughs> okay, if I this is the same as this that we did, right? So we are connecting the same way, but this time you not specify. If you don't specify the port, you can also specify the port. 5432 and then database post grace and then it's still going to be right so this same thing we did is the same thing we did here right so once you configure that you don't need to even specify the password right very interesting very nice so thank you for watching the tutorial you have seen how to fix that particular error that we have so you have to know why you are using trust right but in case you're on a production system you should not use trust you should go back here you should make sure that this is not trust you have to make sure that it is this it's no it's not trust trust me that anybody can have access to it right i trust everybody which is not good so you have to change this one on the production stem you have to make sure that this is peer and then per the system you have to make sure that this one the lookout is also not trust anymore but peer right and then this you have to specify a password right? it's very important if you are on the production system because everybody can have access to it. So let's save it. Yeah. And then, perfect. So let's restart. And now, if I go back here, and I go back to the previous one, none of them is going to work. Let's ask for the password. I don't know the password. It's failing. If I go with the, this one option, this will fail. Let's ask for the password. I have no idea. It's going to fail. So that is a basic understanding on how to face this particular error. So thank you for watching. See you in the session. Stay blessed. Bye.